Hello friends, I am Madhura. Welcome to madhuratrecipe.com. Today I am making chocolate fudge. This one is very simple and easy to make fudge. And it needs only 5 ingredients. And it is super delicious. So here is what we need. So here I have 2 cups of chocolate which uh, I have cut into small chunks. So this is a dark chocolate. So basically I have taken dark chocolate compound over here. Half cup of walnuts. Then uh, we need one tin of milk made or sweetened condensed milk and this is 400 gram. Then two teaspoon of butter and few drops of vanilla. Now to begin with, uh, first we need to dry roast our walnuts. So I have chopped these walnuts roughly. You can also uh, roast this or toast this into oven. Now here I am using only walnuts but you can pretty much use any dry nuts of your choice like, like almonds, pistachios, pecans, anything that you like or even you can use dry fruits in this like raisins and after dry roasting over medium heat for 5 minutes if you notice the walnuts have slightly changed its color and it has started to get light golden color at this point of time turn off the heat take any ball Take any bowl and transfer these roasted walnuts into another bowl. Now in the same pan in which I have dry roasted my walnuts, I am adding a tin of condensed milk. You don't need to bring this to a boil, just allow this to heat up a little bit. Now in this add in butter as well as vanilla, give that a stir. Now over here after this condensed milk heats up slightly, I am going to turn off the heat and add in this chocolate. Stir that in and we need to keep it stirring until this chocolate melts down with this condensed milk it needs to be nice and smooth perfect here chocolate is well dissolved and looks nice and smooth get the consistency super now add in this roasted walnuts mix that in now let's take a tin so here i have 8 by 8 inch uh, baking tin or baking tray which i have lined up using this uh, clinch wrap or clear wrap you can also use uh, aluminium foil in place of this uh, clinch wrap or you can simply use parchment paper or wax paper let's pour in all our chocolate mixture and now once you pour in this mixture in this uh, tray just give this a tap so that there are no any air bubbles in this now uh, I'm going to uh, put this tray in refrigerator and it takes good about two to three hours to set. So this goes in fridge for at least two hours. So over here this quick and easy chocolate fudge is been set for three hours now. Take this out from the pan. Superb. Take this out. And now we are going to cut this into small pieces. So take a sharp knife that is really important. And cut this through like so. And if you see any uh, chocolate sticking on the knife just take a wet kitchen towel or napkin and wipe this out this is necessary it helps to cut fine pieces from this fudge now 
turn this around perfect let's check this out and look at this this chocolate brownie looks superb the pieces comes out really nice and very fine the longer the resting time you give the better it will be to remove the pieces your chocolate fudge is ready and it looks super delicious it has got this nice fine cuts superb just allow it to sit in refrigerator for at least three to four hours before you dig into that so if you like this video please hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe it's free and whenever i post a new recipe or video you will always be the first to get informed about that Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.